Hello everyone. Um, welcome to my new account, Extra Extra. Um, basically, some of you might recognize me um, as the Towson guy from other videos if you've ever seen me. That account I did have to delete uh, for personal reasons. But I'm starting this new account called Extra Extra. Um, and this be about basically today's topics and news that I find worthy. And of course, my first video for this account will be about the Iowa caucus. Very, very close. Very, very close indeed. It looked like Santorum was going to have it, but it looked like Romney just barely got it by eight votes by eight votes. It's very close. Very, very close. So is Romney uh, followed by Santorum? Followed by um, I believe Paul. Uh, I don't want to say anything right now. See, so Followed by Paul. Followed by Gingrich. Followed by Perry. Followed by Bachman, who it looks like she announced she was ending her campaign. So that's going to really be um, another key factor for later as people start um, dwindling down. And then, of course, Huntsman, which I think Huntsman is pretty much done for anyway. So as it, as, as it stands... Um, from the Iowa caucus because this was not a winner take all state it was based off of a portion of winners uh, seven delegates went to Romney seven went to Santorum seven went to Paul two went to Gingrich two went to Perry and none went to Bachman or Huntsman and it's very important to at least start off getting delegates especially in Iowa after Iowa I was more than certain somebody would drop and I think by the end of the month, it will be probably down to Romney, Santorum, Paul, and Gingrich. I think it would be those four still standing at the end of the month. Perry might decide to stay in, but I really think it's going to be those top four that we'll continue seeing. So, any surprises on the elections? That's actually um, a question... I'm asking you all. Were you surprised? Um, were you pleased with the results? If you're a Republican, um, and then if you're a Democrat, you know there. If you're a Democrat, there might be a certain Republican candidate that you might f want that you think won't be able to beat Obama. If you're for Obama, um, I. Um, was for Herman Cain, uh, but we all know he was true. Um, I still have my thoughts about Ron Paul, but I'm still leaning towards re-electing Obama. Officially, more, I mean, I'm like 90%. Um, I won't make an official, official statement until later. But right now, it looks like that's how it's going to be. So, is it pretty much set in stone of who the Republican candidate is. And I say no. I say it looks like New Hampshire is going to definitely be a gimme for Romney, but that's proportional as well. Florida looks like it will be. Um, I'm not sure the stats on that. Um, I'll let you know in a later video. But South Carolina could very well go for Gingrich. And that's key because it, you know, there's a certain amount of delegates that need to be awarded to one Republican person to be the Republican nominee. And I still think there are still states out there that both, not only that Romney can do well in, but that also Gingrich and even Santorum and even Paul could very well take it. Because some, some states, it's winner take all, whether they win by one vote or 100 votes. If it's not Romney that doesn't win in the state, that's winner take all. Some of the other candidates have a chance. And that's why I think this will be a very 
good Republican um, election and a very late one. So, we shall see. Like I said, Romney just barely hung on to Iowa. Really looked like St. Torum was going to make it. Um, and he started off looking like, you know, Paul, but, you know, as, you know, the results came in. So very, very close on both ends. Very, very close. So just let me know um, what you all think of what happened, how you feel about that. And then hopefully we can get a discussion. Um, New Hampshire primaries are a week away. So once those are done, we'll follow up on those as well. All right. Well, I'm Ryan. And uh, this was uh, news about the Owl Caucus. Until next time, have a good one.